Hello, welcome back to my studio. The Struggle is Real Tuesday continues. And this week, you guys requested the Struggle is Real table on the window chair. So it really can be real. And I think it's also a, like a funny thing because table on the window chair is such an incredible exercise to use for so many other exercises of Pilates where the struggle could be real, right? So table on the window chair, I'm gonna show you the exercise and we're gonna talk about how to make it less of a struggle. But um, I think it's really essential for you finding your seat and doing a ton of the mat exercises without hanging out in your joints. Um, so in a future video, we're gonna talk about finding your seat. The table on the window chair is going to be one of those things. Um, there's also some exercises on the reformer where table on the window chair is an excellent tutorial for that. So this is not an exercise that you wanna skip. This is a struggle that you want to make like more of your friend rather than something you loathe, right? So first of all, with one top spring on and one bottom spring on, you're gonna to come to the front edge of your wooden chair and your feet are heels together, toes apart, and they're pulling back. So you should feel hamstrings, shoulder bridge style, semi-circle style, right? And then your hands come back here, ideally facing this way. I have seen people go to the side um, that would be fine if you've got wrist or shoulder stuff, but I, you want to get back here because it's going to help you with your stomach massage reach back, your hip circles on the mat, there's long back stretch arms, everything that like helps you connect your arms to your back, you want to be here. Now, in an ideal world, you would go hips forward and up and you get them this high and that cramps my hamstring. So um, it's also not exactly where I have the most strength. So yes, you can do table that high up, you would love to get there and you want to have it where your shoulders are over your wrists, not behind them. But what I'm going to show you today is the way that I do it, which helps me one, find my seat and make the struggle a little less real. So I still go up and forward, but I keep my hips rather low. I keep my elbows soft, shoulders over my wrists, and then I pull down and up, right, where I'm working the heels towards my seat to help connect to my hamstrings and my butt. And I'm really trying to work the up. So I think the reason why a lot of us struggle with this exercise is we're working the down of the pedal. That's going to happen. Gravity's real, right? But if you can work the up, it's going to make it more ideal. And obviously, it's less of a struggle if you can do one leg than the other leg. Like three sets of five to six is fine. Um, you want to do ten, sure. But that's going to be a really good way to strengthen the back of your legs and make things a little bit more successful in the rest of your body's practice. So how can you make this a little less of a real struggle? I would get on the ground and do shoulder bridge with your feet on the pedal one spring, lift your hips up and work on pulling the pedal down and up without letting the pedal fall, without your hips falling, that's gonna be really good. We get on your Cadillac, leg springs, but really working the hamstrings in the seat. Breathing is gonna be another great exercise to help you connect to your back and hoist your hips up. I would fall in love with some stomach massage, right? Because that whole reach is gonna get you in there with your arms back so the two can feed into each other. This can help your stomach massage, your stomach massage can help this. Um, getting more um, accessible, uh, I would also get on your baby armchair and like squeeze your heels together, really work that seat rotation. And then constantly go back from the table to things that you struggle with just so you can see how it's becoming more possible. Getting on your mat and doing your leg pulls is really gonna show you how much table is helping you, right? Doing semicircle on your reformer. If you, instead of like nitpicking your semicircle, what if you came and did this and then did your semicircle and see how the two fed into each other? So I fall a little bit more in love with table because it's actually gonna make everything else you wanna do in Pilates just that much better. I'm also Logan, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go to Andrea Made a Pilates channel and check out her versions of how to make this struggle of table a little less of a problem and then subscribe to both of our channels so you never miss one of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.